All right, today we're gonna to do a quick tutorial on how to put this guy together. Here we go with all the pieces and parts. These are all the screws, nuts, bolts, and whatnot. Uh, it comes with a little wrench and a hex key and a small, apparently, chip brush. Samples for testing and learning the engraver. Ah, everything came in a bag. We have the stepper motor, the laser assembly with the standard to adjust the laser height from your workpiece. Uh, the control module, which has this goofy serial printer port USB thing, which I don't know why we're still using those in this day and age. It should at the very least be standard USB, USB A, I think it is. But uh, yeah, I have another bag with the wall wart for power, uh, the USB cable, it does come with it, with your serial USB, if that's what it's called, but yeah, so there's that. And then a bag with your limit switch and belts, along with the assembly for the other axis. I still I don't know X Y axis, whichever one it is. I will be learning that. This is all new to me. These L brackets will go into the long rail, where your notch faces up, so it can slide into the rail these only go in one way if you try to put it in the other way it won't slide past that edge you need to flip it over it needs to go in with the notch on this side so this will be here's the hole now this side is machined to accept the screw head so obviously you want to make sure that side's down because then the short rail will now drop down there are screw holes come on focus on the bottom of either one excuse me and that will now slide into the rail and four screws will hold everything together so each of these four corners will be held in place with there's four longer screws here the four long screws there's only three types of screws you got the three all right one two one two three four five six seven there's nine one two three four five six seven so there's nine short screws uh one two three four five six very small short screws then there will be four of these longer screws and these are the ones that we're using on these corners to hold everything hold these four pieces together so after getting these two this one side finished before you put on this last long piece you need to take two of these square nuts on either side so four out of the five they're going to go on the outside of these shorter rails or longer rails they're going to go on the outside of these shorter rails so they're going to slide in the channel on the outside so the notched portion faces out I don't think they'd fit the other way so two of these will go in on this side and then the same process over here two of these will go on this side after you put the two larger screws in to hold these rails in place then you tighten up your set screws one two on each corner with the provided key. If you see the brackets, 
there's a set screw on either side. We will slide these brackets the proper way into the long bar that's going to go attached to the short bars with your screws. So make sure you put your L brackets in the proper way and not the other way. And then they will slide in one on that side, one on that side, and then take the two long screws and attach this rail and then tighten up set screws on the brackets. With that finished, we are going to take the X axis assembly. That's this guy. That is this carriage. This is your X axis assembly. We need to take this and this just slides right into the grooves on both sides. All right, now here's the tricky part is that there's only three of these legs. I don't know why. I'm assuming we'll find out as this process continues. There is only three in that bag. So they will be held in place by two screws and a washer. But that is where, why I have three washers, because there's only three legs. I'm curious as to where this is going. All right, so I need timing belts, two base anchors, two spacers, base anchors. So these are the base anchors. There's a little notch right here where the timing belt will be anchored in place. So this, according to the instructions now, is the back of the machine with the warning label here. And I will remove the belts from the bag. There is one, two timing belts, uh, two base anchors, two spacers, spacers, washers, is that the same thing? Uh, two M5 by 10 screws. All right, we have the two back ones and the one right on the front. Just I just snug this up ever so slightly before I fully tightened it up. Just give a little bit of tension. It actually doesn't have as much as oh, it's loose. Well, I'll I'm sure I'll be adjusting these belts. That's actually way looser than I'd like. But anyhow, so that can always be adjusted after a complete final assembly. Uh, this last square nut, capture nut, will slide in into this side here because this will be the limit switch, which is this guy right here. This is your limit switch. So it will mount like this. And if you see, there is a flat portion here which according to the drawings, the plans, it's a little difficult to see, but the belt comes through the top here and is secured in place with the screw. Again, one of these short guys will hold that in place. The belt will come from underneath here and then screw down. And here we go. Again, I'll have to make some adjustments on the belts because I'm having, this is way, way too loose. And we'll, we'll get to that later. But now this is why the machine doesn't have <laughs> four legs because your control panel on this side will be your fourth leg by your limit switch here. And that will be attaching with two of these M5 screws, which are the last two of these smaller, the short fat screws. Those two will attach to this point here and your other captured nut. And now we attach the motor to the back of to our uh, X access assembly. So this guy will feed through the back 
Oh, maybe not. And then, uh, oh, look at that. It looks like it's perfectly adjusted. And it says to pay attention to the direction of the motor. Looks like this can only be installed one way. And then uh, there are four. We'll take four of these small screws and secure this into place. In the bag, we have a 20 watt laser module, the LUI 4. This is a new model. I received in the package instructions here. Uh, congratulations. Apparently, the 15 and 20 watt laser modules were changed from adjustable focus to fixed focus. It says, uh, but as the production capacity limitation, it's expected to be sold in the second quarter of 2021. But now you have it. Congratulations. We randomly selected lucky customers and sent you the latest version of LaserMaster 2, 15 watt, 20 watt. So what I'm getting from this is they have upgraded their laser module to a fixed focus beam. That's kind of what that's telling me. It doesn't look like it's fixed focus. It looks like I can adjust focus on it still. But this is it. We now have to take two more of those little bitty, the two last screws we have. And we take our backing plate out of the package. I don't know what that thing is for. There's a thing here for something. So this backing plate will mount to the laser module and then we will attach said backing plate to these four screws after the module is attached and I think it goes this way and that is where we will use our acorn nuts to attach the laser module to the motor assembly the carriage assembly here and there we go laser module is attached it was just the two screws to the back plate the four acorn nuts to attach the whole assembly to uh, your carriage here and then this little stop adjustment this actually locks because you're here let me uh, I don't want to So this little knob will tighten your laser assembly because it will move up and down to adjust for the height of your work. Because this is the standard, this little piece of aluminum here will go on top of your work and you will set the laser down on top to adjust the height from your workpiece, and then you lock it in place with this knob. All right, and now the next step will be wiring. Wiring and cable management. Okay, so here we go. Now, uh, we have the cable, where the two cables come together that's labeled Y. That's for your Y-axis motor. That will be this motor here on the side. And then your x-axis motor, which is also labeled with the x, that's your six-pin connector, will go into the top of this motor. And we will be putting cable ties as we complete things. Now the three-pin will go into the top of your laser, paying attention to the notches that are on your connector notches will slide right into there and now we are clipped in to the top of the laser module so if you look here the top one is also a three pin connector number one wire terminal to laser so that's your three pin that we connected up here to the laser so this will be the three pin we connect down to here. So 
So that one is connected. Now the other ones we have, there is a, this one is a four pin on the bottom here. So that will be your four pin connector here. We'll clip on. This is the wire terminal to PCBA. That's what's going to go into your control on this side. So we clip this guy in. Into here. And then finally, you have your six pin, I believe. Yeah, your six pin that's labeled Y will plug into your other, your Y-axis motor, which is this guy on the side here. And again, you'll see the notches, a little difficult to see here on the back side of this pin, fit into those notches. And just like that, we're plugged in on this side. And then what we'll have is we have two cables, two connectors left. We're not going to plug the limit switch in quite yet. That's going to get in the way. So you have a eight pin. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, an eight pin and a four pin, which will plug into the sides here. So we'll plug in the eight pin on the bottom. And the limit switch will then go in to this connector right here. And then the four pin above it. Now, what we'll do is a little cable management. I don't know how we're going to cable manage this, but you have to manage the cables so this can move forward and backward. And also so this can move side to side. I'll figure this out. We'll do some cable management and uh, we'll get back to the process. All right, that's pretty much it for today. That is the uh, just a quick tutorial on uh, how to assemble and running the wiring for the Ortur Laser Master 2. And uh, yeah, I still have to build the enclosure for it, uh, get the computer hooked back up and all that good stuff. Those will be separate videos for another day. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to follow and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.